Yo, what is up? Welcome to Marco's Modern Life. It's your boy Mar, back with another video. And today, man, we got big news in the sneaker world. It's the end of an era. Now, I definitely wanted to get in front of the camera and make a video to see how you guys feel about this. Also, Nike is filling restocks with returned orders. And a member of the family sent me some information about how his order came from the restock that Nike just recently did. And it's unacceptable. I feel like it's unacceptable. So we're going to talk about that as well. As well as kind of talk about this week's biggest release, in my opinion, the Air Jordan 4 Midnight Navy. We're going to talk about that as well. So we got a lot to talk about in this video. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. Before we do so, make sure to like the video that helps us get out in the algorithm so we can grow and live out our dreams. If you're into dope sneaker content from a true sneaker head, like yourselves make sure subscribe to the channel we are on the road to 2k when we get to 2k we are doing a giveaway i'm either going to give away a shoe or a 200 dollars like cash app giveaway so stay tuned for that make sure to tell a friend tell a friend subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the content that we drop and everybody who's been leaving comments all that i definitely appreciate you guys for joining the family so first breaking news adidas has ended its partnership with yeezy it's over <laughs> it is over in the release it did say that they own all past and future yeezy designs <laughs> so it sounds like they kind of they kind of got him up the river on this because even if he decides to go make more yeezys on his own or whatever they still would own those designs so he's gonna have to break them off a piece of that so i i don't know how this is gonna play out i don't know how it's gonna play out i think Ye wants to be on his own anyway but I feel like if he starts making new designs and things, he's going to have to change the name or something. He's going to have to change the name because apparently Adidas still owns the rights to these designs, whether it be in the future or the past. So uh, that, that, that's, that's pretty crazy. I mean, I think we kind of all saw this coming. I think it's something that Kanye wanted anyway, you know what I mean? Because, you know, the, the statements that he's made in the past, he wanted to be out of the deal. But the deal isn't up until... I think he's still got three or four more years on that. So they still own the designs and everything until then. So I honestly don't know what he's going to do. I honestly don't know what he's going to do. So it's crazy because he made such an impact on sneaker community. I mean, he did such a huge, huge thing for Adidas. Because for me, the only Adidas I own are Yeezys. Like, I don't, I don't own any other Adidas, just the Yeezys. I mean, they had a point where, what, the NMDs were huge. And that kind of came and went. They had Human Race, which was huge at one point, And that's kind of settled down now. And Yeezy was really their top moneymaker. So I don't know what they're going to do. But let me know how you guys feel about that. For me, that's that's crazy. But, I, I mean, I only had like three pair of Yeezys anyway. So I'm not a huge Yeezy guy. They are super comfortable. Um, but I didn't have a lot of them. I don't have like a huge Yeezy collection. So this may be bigger news to some other people. But... It's big news in the sneaker community because, I mean, this is, we're talking about yay. We're talking about Yeezys. I mean, at one point they were saying Yeezys jumped over the jump, man. I mean, that's how popular Yeezys are, or were, I should say. But, man, that's just something that, that's crazy to see. I hate to see it go down this way. But after, you know, the comments, remarks that he was making, it's hard for these brands to stick by somebody because I know they're getting pressured, you know, anytime you make racist remarks, stuff like that, it's really nothing good that comes from it. So now, that, that's something that he has to deal with. I'm sure he's going to try to move forward, you know, with doing his own thing. But, you know, will people support him? How will it go? Who's going to be his backers? Because he's going to have a tough time with that. So, leave a comment. Let me know how you feel about it. If you are still going to support Adidas, if you're still going to support Ye, interested to have... A conversation about this, how you feel about it, if, you know, Ye's in the wrong, if Adidas is in the wrong, do you feel like they should have kept the relationship going? Based upon, you know, upon him disrespecting, you know, the Jewish community and, and things like that, I mean, it's hard to say that they're wrong, you know, for separating themselves. It makes sense. But that's my thoughts. Let me know how you feel about that. Moving to the next topic, man, you know, Nike's been doing a lot of restocks lately, which has been great. A lot of people have been hitting on these restocks. But a member of the family, I hope he doesn't mind me putting his name out there, Daniel Walsh, he hit me up on Instagram and told me that his restock pair that he hit, the Air Jordan 12 playoff, he hit it on the restock through the night. I think it was sneakers. It was either sneakers or the Nike app. 
and when he received his shoe and I'm gonna put a picture up as well it came in a replacement box and also the shoes were clearly tried on they weren't laced like factory laced or anything like that <laughs> they were clearly tried on so that leads me to, to think you know maybe other people are having this issue and Nike is filling restocks with return pairs and to me that's an issue I think that's an issue because uh, Daniel he was upset when he received his pair didn't have the original box also was unlaced it wasn't factory laced or anything like that the, I believe the cardboard trees weren't in the shoes <laughs> so I mean there was definitely some issues going on and I have I have a problem with that like him I would have been upset as well it because when I'm buying a shoe from Nike or the sneakers app I expect it to be a dead stock shoe so if I'm getting a shoe that has a replacement box that isn't laced it's missing the cardboard inserts from the inside to me that is not a dead stock shoe so there, there's many definitions of dead stock for me if a, if a shoe is unfactory laced and it's been tried on, I don't consider it dead stock. Now, leave a comment. Let me know how you feel about that. I know some people try on shoes, whatever, sell them as dead stock. And I can definitely understand that because you get more money when they're dead stock. But once you unfactory lace a shoe, put it on your foot, to me it's no longer dead stock. And that's how I feel about it. I think Nike is wrong for selling shoes like that and not letting people know that they're going to be receiving a shoe that's been tried on, that's unlaced. They're going to be receiving a shoe that's coming in a, you know, a replacement box. I think that's something you should know before you order the shoe, and I think it should be sold at a discount. Now, if it's even $10, $20 off, that's fine, but I believe you should get a discount if you're buying a shoe that doesn't come with that original box and isn't factory laced. Because in my opinion, it's not dead stock. Now, uh, the member of the family, he hit up Nike because he wasn't happy about it. They ended up giving him, I think, $20 off or something like that. He was happy with that because he wanted to shoot for the toe anyway. But, you know, you just don't expect that when you buy something from Nike and you hit on sneakers app. You expect to get the original box. You expect it to be factory lace. You expect, to be, expect it to be dead stock. And... It didn't come that way so I would have been shocked I would have been upset as well and I think Nike needs to let people know when they're ordering something hey it's got a replacement box or something like that I think they should be letting people know those types of things because it may change if they want this shoe or not it, you know if somebody's trying to sell something of course could they probably figure out how to tighten the laces back and make it look factory laced yes of course but not having any shoe trees stuff like that, that that's a problem for me because when you pay 200 plus dollars for a shoe i want the full presentation i want the full package i'm paying for the shoe trees inside of the shoe i'm paying for it to be factory lace to be dead stock and if it's not that way i expect to know so that's how i feel about it but leave a comment let me know how you feel is nike wrong for selling the restocks or fulfilling restock orders with returns and not letting people know that this is a return shoe and stuff like that if you've had this issue leave a comment let me know because when i was talking to daniel yesterday he said he saw um on twitter some more people who had the same type of issue where their restock that they hit on was actually return order it came missing things it came not factory laced in replacement boxes so seems like this is something that's going on and I'm interested to see how you guys feel about that and lastly as you guys know this Saturday man it's a huge release drop and it's a shoe that I'm really looking forward to it definitely reminds me of the Air Jordan 4 white cement the white cement 4s and that is the Air Jordan 4 Midnight Navies this is a release that I've been waiting for highly anticipated and as we know as we know, there's been some issues with this shoe. You know, we all know what happened in Memphis, you know, with the with the trains getting robbed and stuff like that. So that is cutting down on the availability of this shoe. And when we look at the resale price of this shoe, it's already up there. So we know it's going to be a crazy release. It's something that, you know, I think OG sneakerheads are going to want because it does look like the white cement fours. So it kind of has that og type of vibe to it it's also going to be a shoe that you know resellers want because as we all know and i hate repeatedly saying this air jordan 4s are next up you know so it went from really being the air jordan 1 to now the air jordan 4 is the shoe that resells it's the shoe that has hype so the resellers are going to be all over it you know trying to get their hands on pairs so that they can sell them 
And when you combine that with OG sneakerheads wanting them, with, you know, just casual sneakerheads wanting them, it's going to be a crazy release. So what I have heard is there was 200,000 pairs. Now, we don't know how many got stolen. We don't know. So when you talk about backdooring, it happens. <laughs> when you talk about pairs being stolen already in the market, I'm saying we cut it in half. So I'm saying it goes from 200,000 to 100,000 pairs. And yes, is 100,000 a lot of pairs? Absolutely. It's definitely still a lot of pairs. But when you think about how many people are going to want this shoe, either you know to resell or to actually rock for the toe, I don't think this is going to be an easy pickup. Um, so you definitely got to put your footwork in. And, and when I say put your footwork in, what I mean by that, now back in the day, it was going to the stores, you know, checking with the stores, making sure they're getting the pairs, kind of, you know, finessing, seeing how many they're going to get, how they're doing the release. Back then, it was all first come, first serve. You know, this is 12, 10, 12 years ago before raffles and stuff like that. You know, seeing how many they're going to get, what time they're going to open, how they're doing it, and all that stuff. That was footwork. Now, Footwork is a little bit different because most of the places are doing app raffles. So when I say do your footwork, that means enter your raffles. Um, watch out for exclusive access with JD Sports and Finish Line. I expect that to be coming this week. Definitely, if we look at how they've been doing it, it's going to happen on Thursday and Friday. So we'll get the in-store on Thursday and then the ship to me option on Friday. So stay tuned for that. Be alert. You know what I'm saying? And just a little tip for the Finish Line JD Sports. Make sure you're using desktop because that's, for me, has been the quickest way to get in. Because the app, it gets so crowded. You got the queue. It's hard to get in. But for some reason, it seems like desktop gets in a little quicker. So that's my little pro tip for you guys with Finish Line JD Sports exclusive access is to use the desktop because it seems to get through a little bit quicker if you do that. You're also going to want to enter your raffles for the Flex app. So for Foot Locker, for Champs, make sure you're putting in your raffles there. You want to make sure you're picking your three locations. Make sure you're using your head starts because that just gives you a better opportunity to win. So make sure you're doing that. I've had people say they don't use head starts. I don't know how they win without them. I really don't because, you know, I take L's and get waitlisted with head starts. So I don't know how people are winning without using them. So make sure, choose your three stores, use your head starts, give yourself the most opportunity you can to take a W on this pair. Also, I know Hibbit uh, Sports has their raffle open, so make sure you enter that as well. If you have DTLR in your area, Shoe Palace, see how they're doing it. So make sure that you're doing everything you can to give yourself an opportunity to cop this shoe because it is going to be highly sought after on the resale market as well as you know by people who want to wear the shoe so make sure you're giving yourself opportunity to be able to pick up the, the shoe on saturday when it drops also we you know we're going to have online drops through sneakers as well so make sure you're prepared for that on saturday now most likely it's going to be a draw for this shoe because it is a popular silhouette it's going to be a draw and with the draw, you get 10 minutes to enter. So make sure you're, you know, you're up on Saturday morning getting into the draw. And good luck to everybody who's going after this shoe. It's definitely a nice shoe. I am thirsty, very thirsty to do a pickup vlog for you guys. It's been a minute since I've been able to take a W in store and pick up a shoe. So I'm definitely hoping I can hit on this shoe and actually do a pickup vlog and get it day one. And also because this is a shoe I really want. I really want this shoe. I like the colorway, the color blocking. I like that it kind of looks like the Air Jordan 4 White Cement, which is one of my favorite Air Jordan 4s. So definitely trying to get my hands on these, hoping that the quality is good and all of that but we have to wait and see so hopefully i can get my hands on them hopefully anybody who wants a pair is able to cop a pair but make sure you're doing your footwork into your raffles if you have local mom and pop stores see how they're doing the um, release they may be doing first come first serve so you want to make sure that you know what's going on so you can give yourself the most opportunities to take the w so good luck to all of you on that but that is all we got thank you guys so much for tuning in just wanted to talk to you guys about the <laughs> the end of an era with uh, Yeezy and Adidas. Also about the Air Jordan 4 Midnight Navy dropping. And also about Nike, you know, fulfilling restocks with returns. 
Leave comments, let me know how you guys feel about that. I already let you guys know how I feel, so I'm interested to see how you guys feel. Make sure, like the video, like I said, that helps us get back in this algorithm so we can grow and live out our dreams. If you're in a dope sneaker content from a true sneakerhead, make sure, sub to the channel. We on the road to 2K. Soon as we get there, we are doing a giveaway, so make sure, tell a friend, tell a friend, sub to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the content. Everybody who, who's been watching, subscribing, all of that, I definitely appreciate you guys, man. Definitely, from the bottom of my heart. It's just fun doing this stuff, so I definitely appreciate you guys. So shout out to all of you. You're all real ones, and I definitely thank you for your support. Like I said, that's all we got. It's your boy, Mar. I am checking out. Stay blessed. Live your life. Peace.